we're back people and today we're bringing a film on ethan bonner miami dolphins corner who is in line for just a bigger role this season getting more playing time and it might even come this sunday depending if jalen ramsey plays or not um but even if ramsey plays i would still like to see bonner get some time out there like when you rotate ramsey or bonner into the or ramsey or uh, fuller into the nickel instead of bumping kohu outside i would prefer to see uh, bonner get in that rotation and see playing time especially while cam smith is out with an injury I think that would be uh, the best idea because Kohu is definitely the best nickel on the team. Like just pure nickel out of the, the backups. Um, but I think Bonner can give you more on the outside. Uh, really, I do expect a jump from him. I actually think he's going to be even better this season because he looked good in his limited snaps last year. He looks more comfortable in the preseason. And when you just look at traits for like a corner, he has like some really good traits that you want. Like he has the size, the athleticism, and not just speed because everyone will talk about his burst and speed, but like he is a good change of direction player like he's got good good feet he can mirror and match you do a lot of things has that obviously has the long speed to match you on the vertical plane does all of that really well but also just all around like he'll get involved versus the run he's a football player very tough uh and then just football intelligence like i think he's just a well-rounded guy and i could see him developing into being a solid player this season so uh, here he is on the outside this was a uh, preseason week three we'll have a mix of preseason footage uh, he didn't play in the second game, and then we'll have some of the clips from last year. But here he is on the outside, 101. Loved how they left him isolated a lot in coverage, and he did a great job on the vertical plane. I think he lost once in that first preseason game, and that was because the guy pulled his face mask down. On, But here he just does a good job. Uh, definitely looks more comfortable. He'll get to play a mix of man and zone. I think he can do both of those. That versatility is nice. Staying square, staying patient. Then shoots his hands once the guy gets into him. He trusts that his speed, so he doesn't need to open up his hips too early here because he has the speed to to stay in the hip pocket of these guys now gets physical starts to reroute him love the reroute and get him wide make him take a wide release push him towards the sideline and then look at him just like he's now reading the hips of the receiver he's like seeing it you know matching the pace seeing if he's gonna break doesn't boom puts on the you know extra gear right there the receiver does now he stays in the hip pocket he turns to locate the ball when he's uh playing low field shoulder position like this you want to turn and locate the ball, turn away from the receiver because they're going to try to throw it over the top. Now, if you're over the top, you want to turn into the receiver to find the back shoulder. Uh, ball gets thrown out of bounds, but he was just in a great position all the way there. Really big fan of Bonner. I love how they kept him isolated in a lot of these preseason looks. I feel pretty good about a lot of the the corner depth on this team, uh, even though you know they're kind of young, unexperienced, inexperienced. You know, some UDFA's there. Dolphins have done a good job finding UDFA's. And since Bonders had to play when his first action in the Jets game, which was kind of at the end of the game, a blowout. Uh, but then he came in and played versus the Chiefs, too, in the playoff game and played pretty well in his limited snaps. Here you can see, like, how he looks, whether he's he's playing, they're playing, uh, like, like, cover three match here. But it, you know, gets, like, the same, uh, the concept of, like, playing an off man. And look how he's able to transition downhill in his pedal, gaining depth. This is hard to do. When a guy's running a quick out like this, break on it, like how he's able to start to anticipate it, match, boom, stick that foot on the ground and close so fast. And then has the ball skills to finish, fight through at the catch point. I think he's got that down pretty well as also. So um, definitely is a guy that I feel like he's always had the comfortability playing, whether it's zone or off man, zone match coverages. It's nice to see from this preseason look, we get to see him playing more like press man and him doing a good job staying like in phase. Look at him close and recover here because this one's a little more of a soft press. The other play we saw... He was getting more hands on this one. He's a little more, a uh, little more off the ball here, like two yards off. So he just stays patient, stays square. Guy commits on that vertical, and then look how much he quickly just gets back into the to the pocket of the receiver, and then he tried to throw it over the top. Bonner's there to make a play. Ball gets overthrown. He's just not allowing any separation on these vertical plane stuff. Just making the throws as difficult as possible. But if it is in you know range for the receiver to catch, Bonner is there to play through the hands. You know, knock the ball out, that type of thing. Very excited to see. I feel like you know. <laughs> obviously he's a he's a white corner there's not many of these left uh, in the league surprisingly like there hasn't there hasn't been many in years and then now there's like three of them but bonner has a chance to be like pretty legit here here he is versus versus the fade love the patience you know down in the red zone the there's not a lot of room and when you're isolated like this like it's only gonna be like two routes it's gonna be the fade or a slant so you just don't want to give up the super quick slant. You know you can have potentially helped the inside. So unless you go up the slant just immediately, uh, it will be pretty hard to complete. They're most likely going to throw the fade. So he just stays patient, stays square. He tries to give him this inside shuffle right there to make a move. 
but he stays super patient. Guy releases the outside, boom, he gets hands on top, uh, stays in his upfield positioning, and then the ball is thrown out of bounds. Doesn't allow any separation. Receive, uh, the quarterbacks, you know, really doesn't want to give Bonner a chance to make a play on these because he's in such good positioning. So they end up putting it like out of bounds, trying to really, you know, laser those, you know, fit them in a very tight spot where only the receiver has a chance, but they just end up missing every single time. But Bonner looks really, really good. Um, here's another really good play. I love seeing this type of stuff. So we've seen him in coverage. We've seen that he can respond, play man to man, play some, play some zone. Uh, this is what I want to see because he's gotten involved versus the run. Then look at this, just bully the receiver on a screen. They throw like the quick bubble RPO stuff. Uh, he closes fast, and I like this. Like, look how he opens up his hips. When your hips are, like, completely opened up like this, like your zone turning, and you're still able to sink and get downhill, a lot of corners can struggle to transition like this. Like, it takes some pretty good athleticism, so this is a good sign athletically that he can do this in coverage situations, but also just get downhill, take on the receiver, look at him, what he does to the receiver, just throws him out of the play, and then blows this up. He doesn't get the tackle, but he slows this down, and now everyone can rally to the ball. Patrick Morris makes a really good play there, too. And then here he is versus the run. I do think, like, he's pretty much spent his whole time at Miami playing as, like, an outside corner. I wouldn't be surprised if at some point, like, it, whether, like, I do think he can play outside corner in this league. I think it's been shown. I've I've seen that he has the skill set for it, the athleticism. Usually it's an athletic thing when guys have to transition to, like, a safety or they don't have the speed and they have to go to, like, a nickel. I do think from his instincts, though, and his ability to fill versus the run that he can play like a safety and potentially even like a nickel. I think he has that type of versatility just looking at that skill set. So if that's ever needed, I do think that is there, even though I think for sure he can play outside corner because he has that really good speed and athletic ability to mirror match and also uh, just can play on a vertical plane really, really, really well. Like he has the size and length to play it as well because some guys are super athletic but don't have the length to match up vertically. Uh, but Bonner kind of just has it all. And then he'll come up and fill versus the run. Uh, he even caused a fumble in that Chiefs playoff game. The game was pretty much over at that point, but uh, still nice to see him coming in and making plays. Uh, here he is playing. Uh, Dolphins rotating into like a cover three here. He rotates down. Uh, clearly they're playing as like a three match. You can tell by everyone else matching up on their thing. Uh, and he is playing off here. Guy runs just a quick speed out. Like, obviously, this is going to get completed from where he has pre-snap. But just look how quickly he transitions. Guy starts to break. He sticks up on the ground fast, and he closes, and he makes the tackle where he couldn't get any extra gain. Like, from where he is positioning-wise, like, he's, this catch is going to get given up. Like, but if he, right there, misses his tackle, this guy could go for a lot more. I mean, Elijah would probably get in pursuit because he'd slow him down. But... That is really good angles, physicality, to finish, toughness, that type of thing. And uh, really, really like that type of work from Bonner. And here's some zone awareness from playing some deep zone awareness. Dolphins clearly in cover three. He gets up. He starts to leverage these routes. When you're playing as like a deep third and like third to the field side here and the D middle of the field safety is like, and he's to the three receiver side. There's three receivers this side. D middle of the safety is this hash. So Bonner knows like the weakness of cover three is to attack down the seam. He starts to cheat to the inside here a little bit so he can make plays on both. That if they both went vertical here, Bonner's in a position to make a play. Uh, he starts to work vertically. If they try to attack the seam, Bonner's there. Asking a corner here to squeeze on the number two on the seam usually is a pretty high level rep from the corner and he like recognizes it pretty quickly. They end up basically running like a smash concept and he gets it like uh, he runs a corner here. This guy gets to the flat. We should have uh, this player getting to the flat here. But Bonner does his job correctly gets in a good position and you can just see him flip his hips change direction turn it around here the start of this play is a little bit laggy for some reason but look at him like he's in a very tough spot he's outside leverage deep off of this and they have rishi rice he's a man-to-man -man, just running a uh, mesh underneath and he has to take this angle like this should get completed no matter what but the fact bonner is able to close and make this tackle at least around you know the first down marker is very impressive like this is a very tough ask for a corner the fact that he's still able to make this play, make this tackle, it takes great angles and actually like, give yourself a chance. Like, very, very impressed with that from Bonner. Uh, and this is the last play in this game. They're just running it. This is late in the game. They're kind of running out the clock. The Dolphins are pretty much lost at this point. But Bonner comes down, fills up, gets his tackle, throws his hel his helmet into the the ball. It pops up. He forces a fumble. I mean, that's just impressive work. He, obviously, situational wise, it didn't matter here. 
but it's still nice to see him filling up versus the run, forcing a big play. It just seemed like when he was in there, good things were kind of happening when the ball came his way, which was pretty, pretty nice to see. So if he did have to play, I do think uh, he could potentially do a good job. I know there will still be rough points. Like if he had to play like a full game, because we haven't seen him really play a full game of snaps yet. Like obviously there's going to be rough points. He's a young corner playing the league. Like you're going to lose that corner and stuff. But I do think we would see a lot of positives that you could take uh, like good signs from to for him to develop. So I feel pretty good about Bonner as a depth guy being like the fourth corner currently while Cam Smith is injured. And we'll see if Jalen Ramsey plays or not. We obviously have Kobe with the nickel. We know we have Needham on the practice squad of that. And if we need the nickel backup and he can come in, we know we're good at safety. But really after that, it's like, who's going to step up out of the Ethan Bonners, the Storm Ducks, another UDFA I like. And then when Cam Smith comes back from injury, is it going to be him? Like, I like all of them and think all of them can develop pretty nicely. So I think we're pretty good at the corner spot. I know I've seen some things where people think we might be worse. Fuller's better than Howard. And then every one of these guys now, I think, at this point in their career, from what I've seen, is better than Eli Apple was last year. So... Uh, I'm not too concerned when it comes to the corner room unless we just get devastated with injuries, which is something you can't control. So if you're so interested, like, subscribe and subscribe.